Good morning, ESM. Today we are looking at something hilarious, albeit diabolical. More on that after news and announcements. On Tuesday, the Senate passed the bill that would make daylight saving permanent. The Sunshine Protection Act was, Act was met with a unanimous vote with, from the Senate, and if it gets passed by Congress and is signed by President Joe Biden, the U.S. will no longer have to turn their clocks back in November. South Korea's military has said North Korea launched a suspected missile that appeared to explode shortly after the sky over Pyongyang. Amongst reports that is, is seeking to test fire its largest missile yet, the U.S. and South Korea have warned that North Korea may be preparing to launch an intercontinental ballistic missile at the full range for the first time since 2017, which violates the United Nations Security Council resolutions. It is presumed it was a ballistic missile that failed immediately after launch, as it seemed to have exploded in midair. A Russian-made video posted on Telegram a week ago was causing some anxiety about the status of a NASA astronaut aboard the International Space Station, as shared by a NASA watch on Saturday, March 5th. The video by Russian state news outlet RIA Novisti shows NASA astronaut Mark Vandy, hi, being left behind on the ISS rather than departing on a Russian spacecraft as planned. Making things worse are re recent comments by Dmitry Rogozin, Director General of the Russian Federal Space Agency, Roskomis. Rogozin has po posted many fiery tweets lately about the status of the ISS partnership after numerous international sanctions were imposed against Russia due to the nation's ongoing invasion of Ukraine. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The morning weight room will be closed Friday, March 18th, but it will be open after school. Please see Coach Archbacher if you have any questions. National Honor Society can candidate membership. Applications are now available in D4. Please see Mr. Mussolino as soon as possible if interested. All applications must be returned to Mr. Mussolino by Friday, April 1st. Are you interested in a career in education? Come to the first Take a Look at Teaching Club meeting in today after school in the small cafeteria where refreshments will be served. This is You Had One Job, a compilation of failures from people who had, well, one job. Who would have one job and fail? Allow me to show you. Start the image. What is this? I don't know. They looks like they painted the road a little wonky. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who would do that. Next Im yep, yeah, next image. Yeah, there's <laughs> What is this? <laughs> What's that protecting? <laughs> I don't know if it's protecting anything. Probably not for long. Yeah, yeah someone made the gate too short. <laughs> what the yeah. heck is this? Uh, there's just, okay. <laughs> it just doesn't open. Someone will be like, who needs that? Like, oh, <laughs> well, long those are not bananas. They're called. <laughs> long yellow things. Who calls them long yellow things? Next image. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> Imagine if you're trying to slide your child down that slide. What if a car hits the, oh, See. goodness. That's uh, injury waiting to happen. All right, seems dangerous. Now we'll have more images after weather. Today, uh, once again, there's nothing really going on around us, so expect uh, no clouds, well, a little clouds with mainly some sun. Today's going to have a high of 58 and a low of 42, so it's going to be a pretty warm day, but tomorrow's going to be even warmer with a high of 65 and a low of 44. So, as you can see, this is going to be a very warm week with our coldest day having a high of 45 and a low of 34. With that, I'm Grayson, with your weather.
All right, here are more images we found. Next image. <laughs> I think those are hamburger buns. Yeah, not hot dog buns. <laughs> Someone must have messed up the wrappings. <laughs> yeah. Next image. <laughs> America, but it says. Maybe it was assembled in America. Made, made in China. China. Why would they just, they could have uh, just, put, why couldn't they just, re someone doesn't know their flags, clearly. <laughs> Is that really how a candy dispenser works? I don't think so. I think you're supposed to pour the candy in. Yeah, and not put actual bags of it in. I don't think you can get anything out. You're just eating your money. <laughs> have you heard of Thirst Place? <laughs> thirst Place? It's no. supposed to be third place. All right, here comes the last image. Ketchup, mayonnaise, and mustard. <laughs> they look like they're all backwards, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Just go for the... Do not go for the mustard. <laughs> oh, right. my goodness. No, let's head to sports. Congratulations to girls volleyball players Laura Sitnik and Natalie Peterson, who both were Section 3 Class A All-Stars. Laura led the team in aces with 47 and was second in both kills and digs. Natalie led the team in assists with 354 and had the third most aces with 19. And I'm Ellie with your sports. Well, I hope you had a great day. So if you're working a job, don't fail like these people have failed. That's all the time we have today. So from me, Jaden too. Yes, we both have the same name. <laughs> and everyone else here at Spartan News, have a successful day. Jaden, great job. I won't say which one.